He's back! Hey everyone, my name is Amerik from Happy Cool and welcome to a brand new review for Gotham Episode 3 titled Balloon Man. So you guys all know what happened in this episode, so let's just jump right into what worked and what didn't work in this episode. First up, what worked. I like the fact that in this episode, the villain was not really a villain, but more of like a vigilante who's just not really good at his job, but really had good intentions behind him. So it was interesting that they really set it up as one of many. He was just one of the sort of like vigilantes are going to be rising up because there's something amiss in the city. So there was this proto-hero aspect to him that I really thought was interesting and I'm hoping that they develop this and it's not just a one-off and there's more of like these mini vigilantes starting up and uh, I think it's gonna inform a lot of stuff that's coming later on. Speaking of soon-to-be vigilantes, Bruce Wayne and Alfred, their connection in their moments in this episode were actually really interesting to watch and I really felt that it was less of Alfred being, oh, I don't know what to do, more of like him trying really hard to parent while not parenting Bruce, but at the same time, you're starting to see Bruce not be so much a child about it, but just sort of stepping up his game a little bit more every single day. It's, it's very interesting because you're really starting to see the making of what makes him into who he ends up being. Right? Because you and I know where Bruce Wayne is going to end up being. But it's interesting to see all the little seeds and moments that are just creating that over and over and over again. And it's pretty... Oh, man, this is good to watch. It's really, really, really good to watch. Speaking of beginnings, guess who's back? Penguin! I was like, what? I, I wonder, like, why are you back? I mean, they literally set up the pilot episode so that Penguin cannot come back for a very long time, otherwise they will kill him. So the fact that he's back, I'm right thinking that he has a plan, although it doesn't seem like he has a plan, but there's something going on. And I'm really interested to see what uh, he has in store for us because I'm a really, really big fan of how that character is developing. And that last scene with Penguin coming to Gordon's door, whew, that's something. That's, that's definitely something. But the interesting part of this episode overall was that I really felt that this episode was more about Gotham and less about the characters. I know, I know it sounds weird to say, but that opening scene where Cobblepot steps out of the bus and he, we see all these little vignettes of what life in Gotham must be like. And first of all, it's horrible. <laughs> I do not want to live there. Like, fictional universe, you know, choices, that is not one of them. <laughs> but it also really gave you a sense of what it is to live in Gotham and to be a Gotha, Gothamania? How do you call the citizens of Gotham? Gothamanians? Go Gothamians? Huh? Comment below let me know. I don't really actually know. How do you call citizens of Gotham? But enough with what worked. Let's talk about what didn't work. <sighs> yeah, you're probably gonna guess it. That whole, you know, Gordon's fiance and her former lesbian lover kind of thing is kind of annoying me. The whole ex thing is not the problem. Right? The fact that they're lesbians is really not the problem. I could care less. But what really, really bugs me is that it serves no purpose. Like zero purpose in this episode. Like, why are we having this storyline? I feel like we're they're inserting the storyline to give that character more to do and more validation, except to be I I don't know why. This has to be a thing. It's very stupid. Like, it, I mean, the first time it's like, you don't know who he is. He's a murderer. No, I love him. And then again, you don't know who he is. He's a murderer. No, I love him. Oh my God, we get it. You're jealous. You love him. Can we just move on? I'm... <sighs> Did not like it. 
Speaking of moments that were kind of annoying me, I mean, I'm nitpicking on this one, but it's kind of getting a tad, just a tad repetitive. The whole Gordon and Bullock arguing, it's kind of getting repetitive. We get it. Gordon is a goody two shoes and Bullock is not so much a goody two shoes and they're just gonna keep bumping heads and stuff like that. But I don't know, I felt they would reach some sort of way of working together, except every episode it really feels like Bullock is saying, hey kid, this is how things work. And then Gordon say, I know, but I'm a cop and justice, blah, 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 blah. Oh, just stop it. I mean, we can't have that same argument every single episode. Like we have to find a way to just spice things up a little bit. Just a little bit. But that's all that didn't work. My final thoughts about this episode? I would say it was a solid episode. Obviously it wasn't mind blowing. There weren't some crazy moments, but there were enough interesting moments, enough interesting setup, enough for us to chew on that I thought it was a solid episode and I cannot wait to see more. And you know what else I cannot wait? I cannot wait to hear what you have to say about this episode, so comment below and let me know. If you're new, make sure to subscribe because yours truly will be reviewing Gotham until the end of the season. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye!